Yo, how's it going, mis comadres y compadres? Welcome back to a brand new video. Today, I just woke up. It's like 7.30 in the morning right now as I'm speaking, and I think it's way too early for this. To be honest, it never fails to surprise me the new levels of stupidity people reach, especially for something that was done in the fucking past. And it's being repeated, which is why history exists. But fuck! Nobody likes history, and we repeat the same mistakes from the past. You guys remember the Taipa challenge? That shit was a thing back in 2018. Now we got this new challenge called the Borax challenge. Now, for those of you who don't know what Borax is, no, it's not the name of a discount Walmart version of the Lorax. It's a detergent. And what are these people doing with it? They're fucking eating it. But that's not all. I'm never gonna stop saying this, but TikTok is a very special place. We got people who fake having mental illnesses and dangerously stupid challenges, such as this one right here. So I got this article right here borax which is commonly used as a booster for laundry detergent and what kind of spin is being used to boost this tiktok trend well some have been claiming that consuming borax can help treat different things ranging from joint pain to eye swelling to mouth swelling to menstrual cramps to even cancer okay okay so after i made some more research about this uh <laughs> I, I, I'm gonna start drinking, bro. I don't know. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. But I also found out that this is for inflammations such as lupus and arthritis. And you know what this means? This means that vast majority of people who eat this is girls and boomers. Fucking boomers, bro. <laughs> Oh, no fucking way, man. <laughs> you gotta be kidding me. I thought this whole time that only Gen Z was the generation stupid enough to follow this shit. Boy, am I wrong. These are grown-ass people. Seriously, I got no words whatsoever, man. People believe anything anyone says. It's, it's, it's ridiculous. These people actually deserve the consequences. How can someone 100% trust a TikToker? TikTok is not only famous for reducing attention span comparable to that of a goldfish, but it's famous because it's the epicenter for misinformation. Don't these people have basic common sense? Are their brain cells completely absent? Uh, I'm sorry, but anyone who does this is a dumbass and deserves the consequences. At this point, it's survival of the fittest. We're getting rid of stupid people. It's a win-win. No, no, no. Just imagine you go to the hospital and the doctor asks you why you visited and you tell him because you hopped on the borax train. Uh um, y y yeah, you're a fucking dumbass. Any normal sane person wouldn't eat this shit because it's basic fucking common sense. I don't know how to explain it. That shit's harmful and it can kill. I'm scared of death and so are you. Whoever came up with this, they are an absolute menace and they should go to jail alongside anyone who spreads that shit all over the internet. This is it. This is the peak of humanity. We have reached new levels of intellect never struck in before. Drinking fucking laundry detergent to improve health. Where the fuck have we gone to as a species? But uh, yeah, that's about it, guys. Now, if you excuse me, I'm gonna go drink some bleach. Uh, not gonna lie, Shay Silent until 2016. I peace.